and of, co of course I got it. Oh yeah, I see bubbles. Ooh, I love bubbles. Ooh. I love it. Such a beautiful printed circle board, amplifier board. It's a mono channel digital power amplifier. Material PCB, power 150 watts. All right. Yep, I found a laptop power adapter that gives 19 volts and can deliver 6 amperes, that is almost 120 watts in power and this is a good one we have three connections on the power amplifier board one of them is for powering the the amplifier I'm gonna use 19 volts on this DC jack okay for audio input I'm gonna use this Bluetooth audio receiver that is connected with my smartphone and from here, audio received from my smartphone going through mono signal in audio input of the audio amplifier. And on this connector is the audio output that goes to speaker. <laughs> Volume up! in tiny bag with bubbles. Ooh. Here it is. Simple USB light with touch function it says. I can see right here on the top the wire that will trigger the LED when the USB is plugged in and it have two filaments let's see what it says in description beside that you can choose whatever color you want you can control the brightness that it says with the touch it's not just for on and off also you can adjust the brightness we're gonna check that Plug in in three, two, one. Nothing happens. Why? Because you need to touch it on the top. Take a look. Why? Whoa! This is super bright. Turning off, turning on with touch. And by the way, this is glass, it's not plastic. You want to hear it? Beautiful. Turning on. Oh, beautiful. Pink LED filament. Beautiful. And when you hold it, you can control the brightness. Take a look. And if I turn it off and turn it on, it remembers that brightness. Beautiful. Holding again. Brightness now. Holding. Brightness up. And it's super bright. Can you see it? Oh, now I'm gonna see how much current is pulling and see the watts of these LED filaments using my USB doctor. We are moving. 
USB meter, plug in, zero, zero, zero amperes. Let's go to the maximum. Yep, this is the maximum. It pull it, it pulls 96, almost 100 milliamperes, and that in watts is 0 0.5 watts. <laughs> and when I reduce the light to lowest point, it's 0 0.01 or 15 milliwatts. Hmm. Increasing. Let me share my coffee page. And what is coffee page? It's a website where you can visit and support my work with buying me one coffee that costs one only three US dollars. You can that you can do that like for once or for monthly subscri subscription. I will put a link in the description below so you can check it and you can buy me a coffee and I will mention your name as a supporter for this channel. Thank you for all. I see bubbles! Yes! Finally! Some bubbles! Oh, bubbles! Oh! oh, oh. They are empty! Oh! Nice, nice! Okay. Came out! The instruction manual? No, I need to read it. Okay, here it is, the module. And yes, it's time for 360 degrees. Let's take a look. Whoa. Let me tell you some stuff about this beautiful and smart module. It's a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. On this connector you can connect the DC voltage from 7 to 32 volts. Also this module can be powered through the micro USB port. As you can see it has two push buttons. One of is for triggering the relays and the other is for what it says. It says for output trigger pin or mode switch key. Okay. And we have four relays that can be controlled on these four connectors. On the relay says that they are 5 volts and that can handle 10 amperes at 250 volts AC voltage. That is nice. 5 volts. After making all the connections on the internet, this LED, red LED will blink and then will turn on, meaning it's connected with your Wi-Fi network. Using Google Home app, now I can control four switches or four relays with my phone. Take a look. Switch number one, turn it on. Switch number two, turn it on. Using Google Assistant, you can control through the voice. Let's say this. Hey Google, Turn on switch number two. Take a look. Turning on switch two. Beautiful. Okay. Hey Google. Turn on switch number four. Take a look. Turning on switch four. Yes. You Turn on switch number one. Oh. The fan is working now. Okay. Hey Google. Turn on switch number two. And take a look. Now turning switch two on. The fan and the light are working. And in, in any time, hey Google. Turn off all switches. Beautiful. I got it. Oh, 
no bubbles. Why? This product is fragile. Ooh. Okay. It comes with plastic case. Okay. Nice box. What it says in the description? It says that the chip inside is ESP32 C3, operating voltage 5 volts, power consumption 100 milliampers. milliampers. The size of the screen is 1.28 inch TFT, driver chip GC9A01, resolution 240 by 240 pixels. We will area 32 millimeters okay operating temperature storage temperature size 38 by 37 millimeters okay by the way this thing doesn't have built-in battery so on the side we have only the type c connector for powering this device and from behind we have one connector, I don't know for what is it, and two push buttons. Okay. This way. What? Take a look at the screen. Amazing color screen. It's a TFT. And here we have a, a graphics, example of graphics for a smartwatch and take a look how it looks inside here it is the the printer sucker board with the ESP chip whoa it's looking nice oh what applications also you can choose different models with without touch model Capacitive touch model without case, with case. Okay. Oh, take a look how smooth is that. Beautiful. These are just examples that are programmed into the chip. And this is the clock. The weather. No more on this side. Let's go back. Okay. Up. You can listen to music. This can be like a Bluetooth controller. Let's play. Yes. All right. The volume, you can also control the volume. Beautiful. Oh, back to the watch okay okay i figure out this connector on the side is for programming uh, it have four pins ground 3.3 volts transmitter and receiver pin out the two buttons are reset and boot on this small connector with two pins you can connect external uh, battery 3.7 volts lithium battery and on the side we have programmable button beautiful just to mention this is just the basic review of this ESP with round TFT screen 1.28 inch in my next video I will show you new codes that I will show you and I'm gonna program to the ESP chip and see what we can do with this beautiful module and if you want to suggest something what to do please comment in in the comment section 
from AliExpress. For $8.76 you can get this gadget. The model is UM24 and you have a different models but we're gonna talk about this one and it's a color LCD display USB voltage tester current meter voltmeter battery charge measure. I'm having this beautiful USB gadget for a couple of years now and I just wanted to share my experience using this gadget. From this side there is a male USB connector. We have four tucked switches two at the bottom, two on the top. My version, because it's older, it's with micro USB connector. Also, this can be for powering the device and the USB mail. And from this side, we have the output or female USB connector. Plug in, USB meter or USB doctor. All right, let me explain what functions this gadget have. Here you can read the input voltage, it's 5 volts. This is the current after you plug in some device and there will be amperes showing how many current is pulling that device. Also you have a thermometer you have uh, another measurement for milliampers and milliwatts. This one, I don't know what is it. And you have uh, this beautiful bar graph. You, you see that line of input. This is for voltage, but you have a bar graph for amperes. I'm going to show you in a while. You have uh, many for choosing the first function is power off or sleeping mode. I set on 9 minutes, that is the maximum. You have the brightest for the screen and you can choose to show the temperature in Fahrenheit or in degrees. Next you can rotate the screen to be upside down. with holding one of the tack switches. Okay. And now I'm gonna, I forgot, it shows the, the resistance in ohms, the watts, the milliwatts and the milliampers on the main menu. Okay, here I have my homemade USB discharger and he, is pulling around 700 or 800 milliampers. Yes, it's pulling 819 milliampers. You can see that in milliwatts, in milliampers. And here it is the bar graph of, of voltage. And here it is the current going at 800 milliampers. But when I pull, we'll go down zero milliampers.